Psalms chapter 61. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord. I love God's word, don't you? Amen. Amen. Nothing more encouraging. You can read the newspaper and that'll go down quick. Amen. You can turn on some of these news channels. You listen to some of this stuff, but you open up God's word, and it won't take very long, and he'll start to bless your soul. Amen? Amen. Thank God. Thank God for his holy word. Thank God for men like David. Amen? Amen. Amen. That know how to worship him, take every, everything that happened in his life, and, 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 and somehow or another put God, see God, and put God in it. Oh, glory to God. That ought to be all of us. Amen? Thank God. The Bible said in Psalms chapter 61, verse 1, the Bible said, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. Amen. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Glory to God. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, Selah. Let's bow our heads and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, Lord God, for this congregation, Lord, tonight. I thank you, Lord God, for the good singing, Lord, and the worship, Lord. And God, Lord, your presence being here with us, Lord, tonight, God. Oh, it's paramount. It's more than anything else. And I thank you, God. Lord, I pray, God, Lord, tonight, Lord, in addition to everything that you've already done, God, Lord, that you'll bless and anoint, Lord, the congregation and bless and anoint me, God. Lord, we're all, Lord, in desperate need of your help, your strength. God, Lord, your leading, your guidance. God, Lord, glorify your holy name, Lord, and, and the rest of the service, Lord, as you've already done. And, Lord, I'll give you glory in the church. I'll give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank the Lord. You can be seated if you will. Amen. Glory to God. I feel the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. I sure do. Thank God. Amen. It's a good place to be where you can feel, be in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Good place to be. Thank the Lord. Good singing everything. Amen. This man, David, I thank God that when you read these things about him and how that the Bible talks about him and on over there after David dies, you know, and Solomon becomes a king and and he's built that, uh, that great uh, uh, place there for the Lord. Amen. He's built that temple that God uh, helped him to build. And, and he built that. To, and whenever he did, he, he, he started praying. Amen. You remember? He started praying. And he, and he started uh, talking to the Lord. And when he got to talking to the Lord, the Lord came down and he began to talk with him. Amen. I'll tell you what, church. God didn't stop talking to people in the Old Testament. Amen. Amen. Uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on today. Teachers tell you that God don't speak to us no more. Hey Amen. You get to where you need to be with God and you talk to him for a while. And I believe with all my heart, I know without a shadow of a doubt because he's talked to me. Hey Amen. Thank God we can be talked to by God. God began to speak to that man. God began to talk uh, to Solomon. And he's, this is how he talked about David. He said, if you serve me the way that your father David served me, amen, and you keep my commandments, amen, he said, I'll dwell in this house. I don't have to dwell in a house that's made by man, but I'll dwell in it if you'll live the way that you need to live. Amen, I believe in that church that he'll come down and he'll dwell in us. Amen, if we'll live the way that he's called us to live. Amen, <laughs> glory to God, I believe it with all my heart. Amen that he'll come the Bible said that he will be in them and he will be their God and they shall be his people glory to God that's the Bible thank God for men like David listen how this man of God and you can read about his life time and time and time again he'd get in he'd listen all he'd done brother Gary as he began to worship the Lord out there around a bunch of sheep. Come on now. Amen. 
He got to, oh, he put his trust, he put his faith, he put his hope in the God. Amen. That that maybe that old priest there, that rabbi, whatever, that he had that he had told him about. And he had no doubt heard his word. The Bible said of this man, him saying, Amen, that he hid his uh, his law, his word in his heart, that he might not sin against God. Amen. Thank the Lord. He was a praying man and he was a reading man, praise God. He was studying God's word. He was out there with them sheep. Oh, and he began to trust God. Amen. He heard the story about the giant that was over there. Amen. That was defying the armies of God. Amen. He heard about that, that giant and how did it defy the armies of the true living God. Amen. And then with no fear, but nothing but trust. Amen. Do you hear what I'm preaching tonight? With nothing but trust, he went out to where that giant was. Amen. With nothing, he wasn't armed as far as the flesh goes with anything. Amen. But just a little bitty primitive weapon called a sling and a few stones. Well, glory to God. All he had wasn't any. Wasn't anything as far as men could look. Oh, but when that big giant come out laughing. Amen. I'll tell you what, sometimes the devil wants to come out uh, and he wants to uh, tell how big he is and how little you are. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how little we are. Just like it didn't matter how little that David was. Amen. David knew the battle wasn't his. Uh, the battle was God's. Uh, amen. He's a little bitty guy, but a great big God. Amen. Glory to God. And that's the God, sister, that we serve tonight. Uh, he's not some weak God. He is God of our all eternity. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the only God. Oh, hallelujah. And he knew his God. Amen. And he sided back. See the thing about David. Amen. You can read about him and he wouldn't forget the good thing that God done for him. You know what happens a lot of time to us? We forget the good thing that God's done for us. Huh? God will move. He'll help us. He'll bless us. Amen. We'll get into a situation. Sometimes we get ourselves into a situation. David got himself into a few situations. Come on now. Hey Amen. I'm not preaching about a perfect man right now. I'm just preaching about a man that knew God. Hey Amen. Thank God a man just like us. Hey Amen. But uh, this man... Thank the Lord a lot of times uh, we'll get to God will bless us. Uh, he'll help us. Uh, he'll move in such a mighty way. Uh, amen. And a little bit of trouble will arise. Uh, and we'll start to, uh, amen, to hang our head, uh, drop everything down. Uh, oh, woe is me. Uh, how am I ever going to make it? Uh, amen. And thank God. Uh, did we forget, uh, amen, that we're a child of the King? Uh, glory to God. Did we forget uh, who our God is uh, and that good, sweet promise in his word. Amen. It said, I'll su will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Amen. By Christ Jesus. Glory to God. And I read these things and I think about David. He didn't forget. He stood there in front of that giant. Amen. A giant for David is like a giant for you. Do you hear what I'm saying? A giant for David. The thing that, amen, there may be things in your life that that somebody else may look at and say, I don't know, what, what's wrong with him? What in the world's wrong with her? Why, do, why are they stumbling over this thing? It may not be that big of a deal with them, but to you it may be a giant. Right, amen. amen. Thing may be hard for you. Amen. It may be easy for you, but for me something to, amen. But this man, thank God, he had put his trust in the Lord. He had put his trust in him wholeheartedly as a young Man, amen. Thank God to see these young people up here singing and giving glory and honor to God. Amen. What a thing would be to say that I thank God that I serve the Lord in the days of my youth. Amen. Praise God. When this man was a young man, Ethan, amen, he just didn't do it to satisfy daddy. I don't believe he did it to satisfy anybody but God Almighty. Amen. And whenever he got down and I, I believe he prayed, amen. 
Amen. There was a lion that came and God delivered it into his hands. Amen. There was a bear. Amen. God delivered it into his hands. Amen. And he went out in front of that Philistine. Amen. And he looked at him and he recalled back to that time when God delivered them animals into his hand. Amen. And he said, he's delivered this. He's delivered this and this uncircumcised. Well, glory to God. Philistine, he's no different. Well, glory to God. Now, church, that's trust. Amen. Does that not define what we read in God's word about faith? Amen. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When that young man went out before that giant, he had the faith that God was going to move Amen. I don't know if I'm sure he didn't know exactly how everything was going to go down, but he knew that it was going to go down. Amen. Thank God. And when he got out there, that faith in God, the same God that had moved for him many times before. Amen. When God does something for his church, the last thing we need to do is forget that. You know what I think we ought to do, church, when we get down and pray sometimes? I think we ought to sit down there. Amen. Uh, one brother, he put it this way, don't always pray with your boots on. Sometimes it's good to get down and pray and just start to think back on the things that God has done. Amen. Especially when things is going hard. Well, glory to God. When things is, the trial is around us. How many knows? We're going to have trials. Yes. We're going to have trials in this life. We will, Sister Teresa, have tribulation. There is no way for the Christian to go out in this life into the life of come in a life of ease. That's why you hear me preach against these false prophets that will get back and write books about how every day can be a Friday. Because we cannot live in this life and never have any problems. I'm not saying that if you get saved, you're signing up for a life of misery. No, amen. You're you signing up for joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's what, amen. But thank God you still, the world, he said to them disciples, amen. If they hate you, know this, they hated me before they hated you. And this man went through trials, and he went through them hard. Amen. But he always, he could look back on the things that God had done. Amen. And he never forgot it. Oh, it's good for us to get sad and pray. Don't misunderstand me. And call out on God. Well, listen, he wants us to call out. The Bible said, you have not because you ask not. Yes. And when you ask, you ask amiss. But you may consume it upon your own lust. Amen. Church, let me tell you something. Amen. We need to be praying. We need to be seeking God for whatever that the need is. But sometimes we need to set aside that time. And I believe alone to get back somewhere and start going over the things and worshiping the Lord. Amen. Worship him. Get that time alone and just give him glory and honor. Amen. I'll tell you what. He'll usher you right into the presence of the Lord. Amen. If you love him, I believe it will. Amen. Thank God. Amen. This man, David, hears his words. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. Has anybody ever felt this way? From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed hey man have you ever been in a situation where your heart is overwhelmed hey man i know you have hey man thank god oh things come to us don't the church Amen. Uh, loved ones, uh, amen, pass away. Uh, things like that take place. Uh, oh, it's such a hard thing to go through. Amen. amen. Oh, uh, uh, things, uh, there's times, uh, there was a time that I was, uh, I was when I was a young, uh, young uh, Christian, and I went to church, and, and I went to church, and they just, uh, 
It wasn't really some kind of thing that, that we really, that the church taught to, per se or anything. It just an individual was there. And, 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 and the devil, he allowed the devil to use him. That's just, amen, that happens. Yeah. Amen. And this individual, I, I thought that me and, and uh, some more boys there, we, we wanted to dress up a little bit, so I didn't even know how I'd never wore a tie. I think before that in my life, I'd never had one on. You know, I guess that comes the first time doing anything, but I was raised in, over in the country, and not too many people wore neckties or anything, and I wanted to wear one. And so I put that thing on and learned how to tie it the best I could and went into the, to the church and out of the, the Lord moved good and just blessed. And boy, I was feeling so good. And then here come this guy. And he walks over to me and says, what in the world do you think you're doing? Wearing a necktie. Boy, you're full of pride. And I thought, oh, God. It, I, I know that may sound silly, but it hurt my feelings. Yeah. Amen. I thought, man, God, I'm trying my best. And this is what's been said. Now, that's not an overwhelming thing. But I want you to know that we can cry out to Jesus no matter what the thing is. Amen. I remember I pulled my car back up in the driveway over at Mom and Dad's house, and that was just weighing hard on me. And I was thinking, Lord, I don't have anything in me that's prideful to, 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 for that. Lord, you know my heart. God know my heart. Amen. And I want you to know, the Lord, amen, he can quote Scripture to you. The Bible said that the Holy Ghost will bring it back to your remembrance. Amen. Thank the Lord. And I was there, and I pulled up. And the, and the thought, just the, the scripture come right in my mind. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Amen. Thank God. Turn with me over there, if you will, to Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11, real quick. Amen. Matthew chapter 11. Amen. Amen. I didn't intend to spend so much time on David, but I'm glad I did. Amen. Thank God. What a man of God. Thank the Lord. Matthew chapter 11. Look at verse 28. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. This is what Jesus said. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Do you hear that? There's rest in Jesus Christ. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Glory to God. Amen. I preached that, uh, that, a message out of that before, brother. Uh, amen. To the lost people. Amen. That's a good message. But I'll tell you what, it don't just apply to them. It applies to me and you. Amen. It applies to us. Amen. We take his yoke upon us. Everybody here is familiar with a yoke. Amen. What a yoke is. They put it on two animals, uh, two beasts, uh, a burden that would pull maybe a load or a plow or something. Amen. They put them on that uh, and they pull that weight. Uh, amen. Thank God. I'll tell you what, me and you, we can't pull anything. Amen. We can't pull anything when it comes to spiritual things. We don't have the strength in ourselves. We can't look in the mirror and persuade ourselves today I'm going to do it. It ain't going to work. I'm going, man, I'm going to get enough in me and I'm going to work this up. And I've heard people talk that way, amen. I've heard them, and you talk to them and, and you speak to them and you love them and, 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 and you tell them about the good things of the Lord. And, oh, I'm going to straighten this up. I'm going to do good. I'm going to fix it all. And I'm standing there thinking, no, you ain't. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing weaker in the planet than our flesh. Amen. Amen. The weakest thing known to mankind is this thing that we're bound to in this earth. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. And he tells us the good sweet promise. Amen. David would say there, 
when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Amen. That is the answer. Amen. It's Jesus Christ, Brother Travis. Whenever we're going through things, his call to his people is, take my yoke upon you. Amen. And learn of me. Thank God. Why? Because he can pull the load. Amen. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Thank God. Proverbs, you can turn back over there with me if you want to. Proverbs. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Do you hear that? In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Glory to God. Isn't that, Brother Shannon, ain't that a good promise? Amen. Trust, amen, in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Amen. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Can you get to, amen, not that, that Magellan don't sell a better GPS to give you a better deal than that, amen. Thank God. You can't get to any better leading and guidance than the good, sweet Holy Ghost. And that's what the Bible said. That's what the promise. He told him, he said, Terry, in Jerusalem, amen, and wait on the promise of the Father. Amen. Glory to God. Trust in the Lord with all that heart. Amen. Lean not to your own understanding. Amen. You know, they make ships today that can handle such storms. Amen. They make ships that can, that military has them, these big battleships, these air, aircraft carriers and things. They can handle rough uh, storms, seas uh, that, 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 Years ago, that uh, 100, 200, 300 uh, years ago, they could never imagine to be able to withstand the storms that they can. Amen. And then, uh, and then you know, I, when I think about this, and I think about trusting in Jesus, now listen to what I'm saying. And I think about trusting in Jesus. And sort of in a way, I'm going to try to make this uh, analogy here. It's like them great ships that can just handle any kind of storm that there is. Amen? Or just about any kind of storm. And they could, and you could walk up to it, and you may look at that, and you may have the ideal in your mind that uh, I don't know just because you've never been on one before, all right, amen? You've never been on one in the middle of the storm, amen? It's hard to convince that, uh, that, that man that's in the Navy that, uh, that it won't handle them storms because he's been through the storms in it, right. amen? Right. Glory to God. Many of us, uh, amen, we've headed into storms uh, and the only thing we had to go to was that same high tower that David said, uh, amen, that hid him from all of his enemies, amen. We went to Jesus, uh, glory to God. And this ship, uh, you walk up to it, uh, and many times, a lot of times in our life, uh, we walking up to a thing, amen, and, and we don't know because we ain't never went through it. You ever come to a storm you ain't never went through before? You live long enough, you will. You'll come into something. You'll think, oh, God, what am I going to do here? Huh? The thing to do is put 100% trust in Jesus. Amen. And you might look at that ship and say, I don't know. Amen. And if they begin to tell you on such and such date, we weathered this storm. Here it was. Boy, it was bad. We know. How do you know? Because I rode that ship through. I've been right there on it. I know exactly what it can handle. I've, wa I've, wa I've been out there on it, uh, and it's the waves uh, coming up over it. Uh, amen. But it never sunk it, uh, and it's right back here in the port. Uh, amen. If somehow or another, 
Amen. You could just get up uh, enough courage and enough faith in that ship. Uh, amen. Just if it took you just to crawl on your hands and knees across the plank to get over on the ship. Uh, amen. Uh, then that would be enough uh, faith. Uh, amen. To be able to ride it no matter what type of storm uh, that it goes through. Amen. Thank God. Uh, but you could. Uh, and there's some people. And it seems to me that they've got faith uh, in things uh, that just uh, that will let them down amen you know there's a lot of people tonight uh, and the person that they give glory and honor to out of the church uh, services over is the man that preached behind the pulpit amen he's a man just like you he's got weaknesses he has the same ability to mess up just like anybody else on the planet. God knows there's been many a men and many men that love God that's messed up. Amen. There's a lot of people put their trust in man. Come on now. There's a lot of people put their trust in uh, their ability to get it done. Come on now. There's a lot of people put their trust in a uh, the insurance card that they've got in their back pocket. I'm not against the insurance card. Thank God I got one. I'm thankful, praise God. I'm not, I'm not preaching against it. What I'm saying is my trust can't be in this world. My trust can't be in any of these things that a lot of people's got their trust in. Oh, glory to God. When we come to Jesus... Amen. It requires believing according to Romans chapter 10, doesn't it? It requires believing with the heart man believeth and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That same faith and believing that it took to get you saved, amen, is the same faith in the same Jesus that it'll take to get you through the storms, to get you through whatever it is that you're going to face in your life, amen, whatever that it is, faith in Jesus is what it takes. Amen. A lot of people kind of like people putting their, building a, a little faith in all these things of the flesh. I'm going to kind of try to liken it to building a little wooden raft. Huh? Building that little wooden raft and putting that thing out upon that stormy sea. Listen, brother, we live in a real world. Amen. Thank God. A lot of people trusting in these things, trusting in the flesh, trusting in, 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 the, in the government. To, hey, man, let me tell you something. Whenever it came time to, to vote this last time, I voted. I went home and that evening out of work, and I started watching that map on TV. Hey, man. And I got to looking at it thinking, I, I started, you know how it was, just a few states coming in, and, and, then I, and, and it wasn't looking good. I shut the thing off and went to bed. I got up the next morning, started to go pray. I've told you all this before. And I, I went in there and started to pray, and, and I checked the thing there to see who, who had won it. And I, before I got up, before I did that, I thought I better go pray first, but I went ahead and checked it. And I looked, and it's just, I'm going to tell you, my, I just, you know, it seemed like it just, just felt real bad about what had just took place. Amen. 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 And I looked at that and I walked into that closet and I shut the door and I started praying. And I and I'm telling you, I, I felt like crying. I just be honest, amen. It's how I felt. And, uh, and you know what? The Holy Ghost started dealing with me, started speaking to me, and said, Trust me. Trust me. Hey man, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, the, well, we'll get it maybe better next time. It, it was telling me, don't trust this world. Don't trust the system, the politicians. Don't trust them. Don't put your trust in the government's ability to get you out of anything. Put your trust in the only thing that's going to help you, and that's Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Glory to God. Has it? Look, look with me, John. Amen. Oh, 
I've already quoted it, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. John chapter 16. Amen. Thank the Lord. John chapter 16, verse 33. Amen. I'm in the wrong book. John chapter 16, verse 33. These things... I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. Do you hear it? In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. Thank God. The, the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17 tells us so that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You know like that ship, if those that have rode it through the storm can testify to you that, look, I know it'll work because I wrote it in a storm and it's got me safely back. The more that we read God's Word, we can see through men like David, through, through various different ones that we, we read about, how that they, God helped them through those times of need. And then, church, I'll tell you, that's why, that's one of the reasons, thank God, coming to church is such a privilege. We can hear some good saying of God. Get up and testify. And saints, I tell you, amen, I used to love to hear them testify when I was a little boy. Because they'd tell about them good things that God had done for them, Brother Mike. And it, it caused me to want to believe in God. Amen. Amen. Oh, we ought to be testifying and giving Him glory and honor when it comes time to testify, especially when God has done something, when he's moved for us, oh, give him glory and honor, amen. Thank the Lord. But when we read God's word, and when God's word is preached, amen, I believe when God's word's preached in the will of God, it will magnify Jesus Christ, amen. amen. And here it says, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. There was a, a, a man there in the book of Mark. And I'm almost done, so please be praying for me. Mark, the ninth chapter. Mark chapter 9. Amen. Help us, Lord, today. Starting in verse 20. Mark chapter 9, verse 20. The Bible said, And they brought unto him, and they brought him unto him, and when he saw him straightway, the Spirit tear him, and, and he fell on the ground and, and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, now this is this child that, that this spirit was, this evil spirit was tormenting. And he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said of a child, and oftentimes it has cast him in the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Listen what Jesus says. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Do you hear that? That is the word of God. If thou canst believe, believe in on Jesus, the one that can do anything. The Bible said that all power was given to him in heaven and in earth. Amen. Nothing too great for the Lord, praise God. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the, of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. See, that's what it takes, church. It doesn't take somebody that we want, like we want to try to attribute it to certain individuals. And I'm, and I'm telling you, there are certain individuals that have great faith. Amen. But thank God, it's not like that we want to, uh, want to do that a lot of times. It, it just takes somebody that will say, Lord, yes, I believe. And Lord, if there's anything in me, Lord, just help my unbelief. Amen. I believe God will honor that, church. Amen. I believe he'll honor that. God can work with this. God can work with an individual that will come to him humbly. You've got to be humble to come to God and say it that way. 
Amen. God knows everything you're going through. You know what he tells us to do? Trust him. That's the message. Trust him. If thou canst believe, all things are possible then to believe. And straightway the father and child cried out, said, with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Amen. And if you read on, Jesus, amen, he cast this uh, evil spirit out of this uh, uh, child. And, amen. And he took care of the situation. And everything worked out all right. Amen. Thank the Lord. But it took just the faith, amen, of daddy to believe. Amen. We can't exclude believing in the things that we need. That's the whole system God set up. I don't know what else to say. That's the system God set up. Like I said before, it took believing to get saved. Amen. Amen. And I'm not trying to preach. I'm just trying to preach God's word. That's how I'm going to say it. I'm preaching God's word the best I can. I ask God what want me to preach. Amen. And he kept telling me that. I hope it's helped you tonight. Somebody come back to the piano, if you will. I'm going to give an altar call. Amen. I've enjoyed the service tonight. And I hope the Lord has fed you through the word. I believe he has. Amen. And I trust that he has. And, and, I, and, I, and I just pray. And the thing is, tonight, it, it, we've got to trust him. Amen. We've got to trust him. Trusting don't mean always that, that we see the answer. Huh? It don't mean always that I see it clearly, but it does mean that I trust him irregardless of whether I see it or not. Amen? I trust him. Thank God. When Jesus prayed and he continuously prayed this way, and when they asked him to teach them how to pray, this is how he prayed, not my will, amen, but thy will be done. And when he taught them to pray, uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Church, let me tell you something. It's the will of God. If we pray to God, if we will be faithful to pray, amen, he'll be faithful to answer the prayer.